Look up, look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We're very good at jumping. Our eyes are big and round. We can breathe in water and on land as well. We're many different colours. And just listen to the sounds we like to make. What are we? Can you tell? We're frogs. Dears, the frogs have been laying their eggs in this pond. Look, there are some. Those little black dots are the frogs' eggs. And every egg is protected by a soft ball of jelly. It's called frog spawn. I'd better put it back. Mind you never do this without a grown-up. Ponds can be very dangerous places. Each egg will grow into a tadpole. It takes about 10 days to do this. Then the tadpole's ready to wriggle out of the jelly and join its brothers and sisters. Soon, they start to eat tiny green plants growing in the pond. Can you see its tiny mouth? I know a story about a tadpole. There was once a big pond, and there, floating peacefully in the water, was some frog spawn. Suddenly, someone threw a tin can into the pond. It hit the frog spawn, and one of the eggs floated away on its own. The egg grew and changed into a little tadpole, who wriggled out and looked around. The first thing he saw was a shoal of tiny fish. That must be my family, he thought. And so he swam after them. The fish were very kind and didn't even try to eat him. One day, the smallest fish said, Why do you live with us? Because I'm a fish like you, said the tadpole. The little fish laughed and laughed. No, you're not, she said. I don't know what you are, but you're certainly not a fish. The tadpole felt quite sad. Then he decided the little fish was probably just teasing him. Yes, of course he was a fish. But then one day, he began to grow legs. None of the fish had legs, and the poor tadpole felt very strange. I told you so, called the little fish. Then, to his surprise, the tadpole began to grow two more legs. He felt awful and he swam away to hide amongst the weeds. Just when he thought things couldn't possibly get any worse, his tail began to shrink. What's happening to me? He thought. 
he stayed hidden in the weeds until one day he felt he just had to breathe some air. So he swam to the top of the pond and took a deep breath. Hello there, he heard someone call. Come and join us. And there, sitting on the edge of the pond, were lots of froglets, all his brothers and sisters. That's what I am, he said. I'm a frog. There are frogs sitting round our garden pond too. They were all tadpoles once. They like to be near water because they must keep their skin cool and damp. They can breathe on land and under water. Can you see him? They're sometimes hard to spot because of their muddy colour. It helps them to hide from birds who like to eat frogs. The frogs like living in my garden because there are lots of insects and worms and slugs for them to eat. They catch them with a long, sticky tongue. I know where we can see a really big frog. Pippin! It's time to fly! Look, there it is, Pippin. Chester Zoo. Isn't it exciting? Good morning! Oh. Hello, Isolde. Hello, Auntie Mabel. Come in. Oh, what have we got here? This is a giant African bullfrog. His skin feels soft and rubbery. Can I hold him? Yes. Look, Pippin. He's quite heavy. What does he eat? We offer him a mouse every week and occasionally, for a bit of variety, we give him a chick. Would you like to help take care of him? Oh, yes. What would we have to do? Well, you could help to pay for his food for a year and you get a certificate and hopefully you'll come back and visit him sometime. That would be nice, wouldn't it, Pippin? Or this little tree frog. She needs someone to buy her food as well. A little frog who lives in the trees. Yes, but you won't find her in this country, though. She comes from Australia. Look, Pippin. Look at her little toes. They're round like discs and very good at holding on to branches. She's got a good grip on my fingers. 
What does she like to eat? She likes to eat insects. Oh. Remember the frogs in my garden and their muddy colour, which makes them hard to find when they're in the pond? Well, this little frog lives in the trees and her green colour makes her hard to find when she's on a leaf. But look at these. Their bright colours and patterns are saying, don't eat me, I taste horrible. But if a frog's in danger, it can always escape by jumping. So, which one shall we help to look after, Pippin? The big African bullfrog? Or the little tree frog from Australia? I know. I'll help look after the bullfrog. And Pippin can help look after the tree frog. Here are your certificates. Oh. And don't forget to visit them. Oh, no, we won't. Here you are, Pippin. You can carry our certificates. Goodbye, frogs. We'll come and see you again soon. Deep in the forest or down in the pond, the frogs are here to sing their froggy song. you a present, Pippin, to remind you of your little tree frog. There you are. Where are you going? Oh, Pippin. 